Hi, Brucey. Hi, Nina. How are you? I'm so good. And you? Good, thanks. Good, thanks. Nice to see your face. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was out of the market. <laughs> Different <Yeah. setting. laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Um, so, Brucey, I'm going to jump straight into it. Can you tell us a little bit more about who you are and yeah. what it is that you do or more about your brand? Okay. So, I'm Busi. Um, uh, young millennial who's really passionate about um, entrepreneurship as well as driving financial digital inclusion um, in the country. Um, so that's kind of me. And then I've got a business where I import different teas from Kenya. Uh, the brand is called Karicho Gold. And I sell that tea across different pop-up markets um, as well as e-commerce platforms. And yeah, that's kind of the business. I started it in 2017 and I was just traveling to Kenya and I actually bought my husband a gift, something like this, like a luxury tea box. And that's how the business started after having a great cup of apple and cinnamon tea. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. so, so do you travel to Kenya a lot or is it now just online or how, how do you do it? So in the past, in the beginning stages, I used to travel for work and kind of the tea was a gift in passing and then became a business. So now I've already made the connection with the company that actually manufactures and makes the tea. So now everything is just via phone, email, um, in order for us to order or um, touch base. Okay, cool. And, and how, yeah. has, um, how has lockdown impacted your business? So I've got very interesting balance in terms of the business. Um, like I alluded to earlier, selling at pop-up markets. So with no markets at all, I have had no sales whatsoever from a brick and mortar type of um, setup. And I'm very dependent on pop-up markets because people get to taste the tea and they mm. get to enjoy the tea and we also and get to communicate. Mm -hmm. Exactly right. So, you know, you get to explore. So, for example, not being able to trade at the Linden market, which is one of my best and top um, market performers, is also a very different experience because now I don't have my regular customers <laughs> who oh. just come in and buy tea. So that's just yeah. the one view of it. So if I look at my graphs and yesterday I was actually doing analysis. So it's no, no percent revenue from pop-up markets because there's no trade. Then there's the other side of the business where luckily in 2018 I made the decision to go on to e-commerce so I sell on techlot.com and um, so now I've got an upward trajectory in terms of sales on the e-commerce side because I invested in an e-commerce strategy in the earlier phases of the business and there I'm seeing a huge growth um, week on week so I've been tracking every single week of lockdown if T is improving so that's been the benefit. <laughs> At least I can still trade. I'm an essential good. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's never been a better time to be an essential good. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> tea, tea and bread, tea and biscuits, tea and everything. <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually such a cool gift because my mom and I was talking earlier, we miss being able to buy flowers because we usually give each other flowers and it's so weird yes. going to a store and there's no flowers, but now I can give her some tea. <laughs> exactly. In a nice gift box, all packaged well. <laughs> exactly. And, and they're also beautifully packaged. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank so, you. So, um, obviously, like you said, you're more online now. So is that kind of where you've been putting your focus or, or how have you adapted your business otherwise during this lockdown time? So, um, First of all, even if you're online, you have to still create brand presence, brand awareness, and be present because you've got a captive audience, mm. technically. Everyone's on their phones. <laughs> so they yeah, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> And what I've tried doing is running like uh, competitions on um, Instagram to try and engage with the followers and any tea lover or the tea community or beverage community, for lack of a better word. So I'm running competitions, getting people to be creative, to send poems, but using the word tea. So they have to change the word like quality will be like <laughs> end <of> the tea, <laughs> agility, <laughs> simplicity. I want tranquility. <laughs> Did you get and I feel like, 
yeah so then and then i give away um prizes along so i got really really cute and cool um insights and quirky um quotes from from tea lovers so that's been a very lovely experience <laughs> and entertaining too and entertaining yeah so that's one of them and then the other one was uh, like a mug shot where you have to do like a you feeling guilty so send a photo of yourself with a cup of tea <laughs> Oh, cute. Yeah, and then and then I'd add like a link to like redirect you to see the tea or buy the tea, etc. So that's mm-hmm. kind of my play, and where I'm positioned, considering that I don't have the physical sure. presence. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So when I phoned you asking if we can have this chat, um, you were actually busy driving around, dropping off tea. Is that is yes. that how <laughs> it works now? Are you are you your own deliverer? <laughs> so um not really so um I do only do the take a lot delivery part that that okay. I fulfill myself I think it's that one trip I get to do where I have me time and not yeah. with everybody else <laughs> yeah um so I'm in and out so I go to the take a lot DC I drop it off and then I'm back home and then I've got a courier company um remit logistics which kind of helps me fulfill um halting deliveries but it's also been very difficult getting hold of some courier companies because some yeah. aren't like fully trading others yeah. are only delivering um, masks and sanitizers etc and not like yeah. food stuff so yeah. a lot of things have been on hold like the winners for like Cape Town or other provinces yeah. um, I'm only going to get them after lockdown because yeah. I'm trying to find someone to help me now <laughs> and I can't, yeah. so yeah yeah and at least it's something to look forward to something even yeah. more to look forward to <laughs> That's so, so, so when you're not when you're not not driving around and delivering your tea, um, <laughs> what are you doing to keep yourself busy during this time? So, um, a balance. I love my TV. Um, I think I've been watching a lot of Showmax, a lot of DSTV, a lot of Netflix, a lot of TV time, which <laughs> has been really cool. Catching up on all those contents and series that I haven't been watching. And um, then, like, here and there, and then I'll pick up a book, um, you know, like an entrepreneurial one, and get some sort of inspiration, which could probably spark another creative moment. Yeah. And then, oh, the domesticated part, the cooking, yeah. the cleaning. It, it feels like you're cleaning all the time. The time. <laughs> <laughs> so now more than ever, like I so miss the ladies who help us in the house because I I'm suffering. <laughs> I know. The worst thing is I was cleaning cleaning my house from literally top to bottom, right? My husband was helping me. We were like dusting even the, the roof and the walls. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> And a week later, I walk and there's dust. I'm like, <laughs> what is happening? What, what happened? <laughs> yeah, exactly that. So I feel you. And and then we've done like times where you're like, okay, I'm tired of TV. What else? And then we'll play games or play 30 seconds or, you know, or bake or do something. But yeah, I think for a lot of us, um, we feel like we're getting crazy. <laughs> we need, but, <laughs> we need so, to get I out. Mean, this is a time that we will hopefully, not hopefully in a bad way, but never have again, like exactly as it is now in our little bubble. What, what yeah. is the one thing that you think you're going to miss about this time? Not not driving. And that's the weirdest part is even though I do that drop off here and there to take a lot and go drop off the stock. But I think the whole long distance commuting or if I have to go see like a client that I'm working on, who I'm consulting to, like that whole, oh, but I can just phone you, you know, like you can just like dial in to get the work done. Yeah. So I think the long distance commute is one of the things I'm treasuring about the lockdown. Mm. Um, I think I'm also treasuring your me time, like in terms of just, just sitting, you know, and not having to be in a crowded space or whatever, just, being mm. connecting with yourself, um, mm. being having time to introspect, having time to reflect on yourself as well as your business and mm. asking yourself the difficult questions that I think we don't um, have time to address when mm. we are on the go. So it's been a mm. good time to slow down. Yeah. yeah. And what is the one thing that you're looking most forward to after lockdown? The funniest thing, I had a call with my family on Sunday and we all said we want chicken licking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
hot wings. <laughs> that is so weird. <laughs> oh, across the board, chicken licking. Across the board, consensus. <laughs> oh, that's... Yeah, so... I know, that's definitely the one. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully you can get it soon. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. Um, what when you went into this this time of lockdown? What did you have a goal, or was there one thing that you wanted to get done or achieve by the end of lockdown? Admin. I think that's one of the things as an entrep- as entrepreneurs usually leave in the back burner, and we're like, mm. oh, we'll get to it, we'll get to it. But like, I still haven't gotten to it. But I've got a week to get my ish in order. Save and day. <laughs> and I think it's Adam. <laughs> admin. <laughs> Better get it done. Definitely admin, yeah. <laughs> Definitely the admin. Do those recons. Um, do that do- data capturing. Doing that analysis. At least be able to start off the next part of the few months left of the year on a on a clean slate, knowing that everything has been administered. <laughs> Hilarious. So every single person that I've spoken to, I think we're all right brain because <laughs> everyone was like. There's this admin that I need to get done. And then you think of competitions that you can run and you think of all these creative <laughs> things to do instead instead of just getting exactly. to the certain admin. <laughs> yeah, no, so true. So, But I will. That's like my main goal. I need to do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Busy, you said you're passionate about our entrepreneurship. Um, mm. How would you like after the lockdown, let's say we all start on a clean slate, right? How would you like the South African public to better support small businesses in our country? I think buying from small businesses, like I think it all starts with the purchase Um, and it doesn't matter what it is, how big it is or how small it is. I think it's just about starting with the purchase because supporting small businesses really, really has a ripple effect in terms of it goes to the family. You know what I mean? And your line, your expense lines are not as big as big corporates. So at least you do know that the bottom line actually goes to where it's supposed to go and serve of that um, kind of purpose, which is, you know, that's the thing. So I think it's that. The second thing is I think it's also about us as this uh, community of entrepreneurs to be able to collaborate more. I think now more than ever, the lockdown must have sparked a lot of thoughts as much as it's creativity, but thoughts on how can I collaborate, who can I collaborate with and take my business to the next level? Because the game has changed. The game is now is, is changing and collaboration is the new competition Petition, you know what I mean? So I think that is also very important. And I think looking for, for tools um, that are out there. So, I mean, like, if I look at... Um, for example, I think Yoko just launched a nice um, digital payment voucher system to help small businesses now during lockdown get some ca- some sort of cash flow. So I can buy a voucher for Love Tea Time that I can then redeem um, the tea sometime in future. But then it would have helped with, with the cash flow. So I think mm-hmm. it's also about finding what are the things that are out there even now during lockdown that will help us post um, mm-hmm. lockdown. And I also think um, beyond sales, but also sharing brand awareness. If you know about the tea, a picture, a tweet, a share, you know, it'll just, it'll go far and it'll end up in the home of a tea lover without even knowing. And it's just those small random acts of kindness that I think will really help take um, small businesses um, to that next level and get the South African public to um, be a part of building um, this nation. Yeah. And I, I like that small act of kindness because you're sitting in your house right now and you, you don't have contact with people. You can't really go out and physically help someone. And it's, yeah. it's trying to find that small thing, just like a like or a share, like you said, goes a long way. And, and if we can get out of lockdown as a nation, looking for ways to do small random acts of kindness, you know, how, how much better yeah. will our society be? I like that. Exactly. Exactly. So it's lending that help, helping hand and it's gonna, it's gonna grow. It's that good, mm. that chain. Definitely. <laughs> that definitely. Chain reaction. Yeah. So, see, um, what is your one piece of hope or your one piece of advice to other small business and entrepreneurs out there? Get onto e-commerce. <laughs> <laughs> 
like bottom line <laughs> i think it's very very important you need to have a balance in the strategy if you had a physical store get online get a website get an e-commerce plug point doesn't matter if you run your own shop on your website or you go sell on a take a lot or a superbulous or whatever the case may be, get on there. Um, I think I read another article on LinkedIn. There's a shop, um, a retail merchandise shop in the UK called Primark. They were making 650 million pounds a month selling clothes in their shops. Their revenue has dropped to zero. Why? Mm. Because they had no e-commerce strategy. They have no e-commerce plan. And I mean, that's like millionaire to broke yeah, overnight. in a day. Yeah, mm. so get an e-commerce strategy. That's the first thing. Then the second thing is, I think, like I was saying, I'm passionate about the digital and financial inclusion. Digitize your business in other ways as well. So if you were trading at a pop-up market like Linden and you weren't, you didn't have a card machine or you didn't take QR code payments, like there's so many players in the market, get a mm. Yoko, get a Nukesh, get a Snapscan, get a Zapper, get a Masterpass, get something, get mm. digital. Because after this, there's going to be less cash trading hands because people are going to be freaked out. Like, have mm -hmm. I sanitized that bill, that hundred rand yep. bill? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and if you don't have digital um, payment systems, it's going to be like, uh, nah, next door, let me move on. Hey. Um, yeah. So That's I think digitize, 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 find ways to digitize. And also the last thing is talk. Like if you need help, talk. If mm -hmm. I can't help you, I will find someone who can. <laughs> and I think that goes the same with someone else. Like if they can't help you, they'll refer you to someone else. And don't struggle in silence. And I think it's one of the weakness, our weaknesses. Is sometimes we struggle in silence. But like, We're too proud. And, mm. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And, and that's exactly. why I like, um, you know, <clears throat> chats like these where people can see we're all in the same boat. And, and mm. you know, it, it, it's good to, to talk about things because... Other, other, yeah, you know, other people feel the same as you. Yeah, yeah, mm. exactly. So if we're not talking, then <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what yeah. else, you know? So I think oh, that you that think that's yeah. So I'm saying I think that's the direction we have to go as a society. If we truly believe Ubuntu is one of the values, then now more than ever, it's the time mm. to to live it. Mm. Amen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a flavor there. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. I had the most fun now this morning. Um, oh, no, thanks, Nina. And, and hopefully we'll see you at the next market soon. Yes, we're excited. We want the <laughs> band, we want the music, the trees, yes. the leaves, and a cup of tea. <laughs> a cup of tea. I'll come round and have a cup of with you. <laughs> cool. Take thank care. So thanks, eh? Bye. Great stuff. Bye.